Hey everyone, Angry Honey Badger here, and in this video, we'll be taking a look at Riven. We'll start things off with her abilities and what order you want to max those out in. Then we'll go over her runes and masteries, followed by counters to look out for and what champions she does well against, along with team synergies. Finally, we'll take a look at the items you want to consider purchasing while playing Riven, and we'll look into her pros and cons. Be sure to subscribe and like this video if you find it helpful, but for now, let's look at Riven the Exile. Go around the badger. As for Riven's abilities, let's start off with her passive, Runic Blade. Riven's abilities charge her blade, causing her basic attacks to deal bonus physical damage. Riven's blade may be charged up to three times and expends one charge per attack. At level one, you'll wanna put a point into your Q ability, which is your broken wings. We're gonna be maxing this out first. Riven lashes out in a series of strikes. This ability can be reactivated three times in a short time frame, with the third hit knocking back nearby enemies. At level two for aggression, you'll put a point into Key Burst. We'll typically be maxing this out last. Riven emits a key burst, damaging and stunning nearby enemies. At level 3, we'll put a point into Valor and max this out second. Riven steps forward a short distance and blocks incoming damage. And finally, we have her ultimate, Blade of the Exile. Riven empowers her keepsake weapon with energy and gains attack damage and range. During this time, she also gains the ability to use Wind Slash, a powerful ranged attack once. As for her runes, I recommend Attack Damage Marks, Armor Seals, Magic Resist Glyphs, and Attack Damage Quintessences. For her masteries, you'll want 21 in the offense and 9 in the defense. Here's the page I recommend taking. As for champions that can counter Riven, first is Garen. His silence can stop Riven from finishing her full combo of damage. Also, his built-in durability and strong passive can keep him in lane for a very long time against her. Next is Olaf. Another champion with a somewhat tanky build path, Olaf excels at trading with Riven when she goes aggressive. As Olaf continue to land undertow and reckless swings, and she'll probably keep her distance from the damage you're dishing out. Finally is armor. Regardless of who you are playing as against Riven, if you take cloth armor and five health pots, you'll have a better chance of resisting and sustaining against her through the early levels of the game when she is more than likely going to probably jump on you and be aggressive to try to get the early lead that most Rivens look for. If you can also prioritize one major armor item early, you can effectively deny Riven most kills in the laning phase. As for matchups that favor Riven, let's start off with Nasus. His weak early game and his need to stack his Q puts him in danger as Riven can engage and punish him over and over. Obviously, this will only delay his late game, so make sure you effectively end the match before it gets to that point. Next is Yasuo. His mobility for aggressing on Riven literally brings him into her stun's range. At that point, when he tries to trade, he'll take way too much damage than he can actually put out. His best bet is to sit back and just Q farm against her. And finally is Vladimir. His shorter cast range puts him within striking distance of Riven. He also has a strong mid game, so early she naturally has the upper hand. And his only escape has a much longer cooldown than her abilities, so she'll be able to punish him after he uses Blood Pool. So he'll have to use his summoners if he wants to stay alive. As for champions that synergize well with Riven, those include Orianna, Lulu, Janna, Vi, Gragas, and Lee Sin. As for the first three, they can buff Riven in the middle of a fight and help her with strong shielded engagements that can speed her up too. The last three can provide strong gank synergy to aid and assist Riven while laning and during teamfights. As for the items I take when I'm playing as Riven at level 1, I'll typically start with a longsword and health pots and my warding totem. My first few trips back to base will consist of more long swords that can be built into two items I would consider picking up early on. The first one being a brutalizer, which obviously gives you good cooldown reduction, armor penetration, and damage. The other one being a Tiamat that you would eventually finish off into a ravenous hydra. One other nice thing you can do early on is build this into a hex drinker if you're going up against a strong magic damage dealing champion. With the core components of a Brutalizer and a Tiamat, I typically would try to finish out my Tiamat into the Hydra as soon as I can. But in some matchups where having the speed would be important, I'll actually finish off that Brutalizer into a Yumu's Ghost Blade for the active. After finishing off those two items, at this point I typically start to make sure I've finished off my Boots of Lucidity for cooldown reduction. And after that point, I start to work on my Black Cleaver. The new Black Cleaver on Riven works really well, and the nice thing I like about it now is it gives her a good amount of health, which she typically wouldn't have. 
At this point, we have four items, and I'll typically round things out with a Last Whisper, and then either one defensive item being the Maw that we may have picked up if we were going up against a Magic Damage dealing top lane or a Magic Damage heavy team, or we could pick up a Guardian Angel for just, you know, the ability to come back to life. One other option would obviously be to pick up the Bloodthirster late on in the game if you want to maximize your damage even more. Moving on to her pros and cons, let's start out with her pros. High damage output is an understatement. She does a lot of damage. Lots of mobility for chasing and escaping. Snowballs an early lead very easily. She's a very strong laner in most matchups. No cost spells means that you can always be ready to fight. As for cons, she has no great sustain. Crowd control wrecks her combo and it gets her killed most of the time. Predictable movement for most of her opponents to read. She has a high skill cap, although I know a lot of people probably don't agree with it. And her extreme late game can be rough if enemies itemize defense. It ends her from one-shotting carries. And as for my personal thoughts on Riven, I think Riven has kind of always been a problem actually in League of Legends. They have actually just typically just nerfed her as time has gone on, um, but this is just how Riven kind of has been. I think one of the things people don't utilize with Riven, and this is the core concept and basic thing of Riven, at least early on, is you Q, auto, Q, auto, Q, auto. You make sure you get your auto attacks off in between your Q. That is the most important thing. Her Q is ridiculously strong. The passive actually is one of the main things that gives Riven tons of power. Also, I mean, just her kit naturally is very helpful. She's got tons of engage and tons of disengage. She is a good champion to learn if you are looking for someone who can take control of a lane and snowball a lane's lead into a victory for a team early on. She does that incredibly well. One of the few top laners that can really just punish someone over and over and over each time they get to lane because like I said, no cost on those abilities besides just waiting for the cooldowns and we're building cooldown reduction so it's not a big deal. Uh, you can just punish people over and over. She is very, very strong. Um, but like I said, once she gets to the extreme late game and people have a little bit of defense, the penetration she has will help for sure. But when people start stacking raw health on top of all these things, it becomes a little more difficult. So finishing a game out in a slightly timely manner is pretty helpful if the enemy team is beefy. Other than that, I wish the best for you on the Fields of Justice, and I'll see you in the next build video.